Hello everyone and welcome to a special Saturday edition of Bourbon Bites. You know the stream where we do things a little bit crazy and different from our Thursday night streams. As you can tell by the title of this video and my epic shirt, might I add. Not my own merch. I wish it was. Trust me. If I had the shirt on my store, I know y'all would all buy it instantly because I would too. I <laughs> um, actually got this on monthly tea, cup, tea club if you're curious. Um, but yes, we are playing... Donkey Kong Country 2. Now, we played this game before. We played it back in October. We played it for um, our rum night. So we did Foursquare and all that stuff. So if you missed that stream, go watch it for the gameplay, but also go watch it for the rum because I that was the first night I tried Foursquare, and holy crap, that was that was such a life-changing experience. So, <laughs> so, but tonight we are back to bourbon. We are actually going, we're revisiting Barrel because we've done Barrel before on the show, but there are three new releases that they've sent me uh, to try out, um, including their new Seagrass. Um, if you guys can see that right there. Now this one I'm, I'm really looking forward to. So this one is rye whiskey finished in Martinique rum, Madeira, and apricot brandy barrels. I have tried a little bit of it beforehand, but we also have their latest batches of the 27 and 28 of their bourbon. So we're going to be tasting those too. Um, I have all the info pulled up for those um, that we can reference as we're going through them. I also brought the batch 26 since that's what um, I had from last time. So maybe we can do a little comparison for that as well. So Shout out to people here in the chat, everyone joining me here on a Saturday night. I appreciate y'all being here. First of all, to our mods, Donnie the Linux Cat, Brandon, what's up? These guys are going to keep track of my giveaway that we're doing tonight. Yes, we are doing a giveaway. Um, also want to give some shout outs to patrons of the show here. I see Sugar Kitty, Don Nishida, Wesley Zeller, Nick Proman, uh, Whiskey Mountains, of course. Go check out her channel. Wheels, what's up, Wheels? Um, and some new faces that I, I recognize some of these guys, but I'm glad for you guys to join me on a Saturday. I see, who was it? Roy R. does things. I recognize your name. I know you've been here before. So good to see you. Um, Alex Breer. I don't think I've seen you before. Welcome. And Eric Black, another friend of the channel here. So thank y'all for joining me on a Saturday. I know that Stanley Wagner Jr., the mash bill, is doing a charity stream today. So make sure as soon as I'm done with this, y'all go check out his stream. Um, he's raising money for, I don't remember the exact name of the organization, but it's for suicide prevention. prevention. Um, really great cause there. So please go check out his um, stream after this. Um, also, but if you want to, um, stick around with me, I'm actually going to be playing some Among Us on our Whiskey and Gaming Lounge. So if you're not yet a part of that, that is just bourbonbites.com. It'll redirect you to our Discord server. Um, we, we've been wanting to play this for a while. People have been asking me. Um, I actually haven't played the new map, so I'm very excited to try that. So if you want to join us for some Among Us right after the stream, um, just make sure you're there. We'll do it in the, um, Tipsy Gaming Lounge. So just, just a little heads up for that. Um, what's up, Nathan? Zofer, good to see you, Zofer. Uh, oh, I already said that during last stream, but yeah, I'm going to meet him for the first time next week. Tom Flanagan, what's up, Tom? Good to see you. Yeah, so we are doing the seagrass and the two batches of barrel. Now, the giveaway info, I want to go ahead and tell you guys, um, this is different than my normal giveaways. Normally, I give away samples, um, but this time, I'm keeping it simple since it's a Saturday stream. I am, of course, giving away none other than an official Bourbon Bites Challenge coin. Um, yes, these are the arcade token style challenge coins um, that have my logo on the front and no mash value on the back. Um, these are also available for purchase, but I thought it'd be fun to give it away. So this is for any super chat of any amount you get entered. So normally I keep track of the amounts. This time we're keeping it simple. We're just any super chat really does help the channel here support. Um, so everyone that super chats will get an entry into tonight's giveaway. And then I'll get you one of these shipped to your house for free. So, so that's just thought it'd be a fun way to do it. I don't have samples since I only have this much barrel, so I can't really send you samples of that one. I do want to do more um, sample giveaways soon, though. So if those are interesting to you, definitely stick around. Um, they are also something that I'm doing new for Patreon. Um, at the $50 tier, is you get a Bourbon Bites subscription box, which gets you monthly samples, um, and we'll do a little private little tasting thing together. So if you're curious about that, go check that out, patreon.com slash bourbon bites. So let's go to get some bourbon in our glass. I actually don't have any of these poured. Um, I actually, I just woke up from a nap, so I'm like, I'm ready to drink. Got a little bit of dry mouth, though, so I make, got to make sure I drink a lot of water tonight. And also, we'll see how far we can get in Donkey Kong, because it's, it's, it's been a minute since I've played this game. What's everyone drinking on, though? Do you guys have some barrel releases? I know Wheel said he just got the latest batch in South Carolina. That's really cool. Um, you know, I want to save the seagrass. I think this is what I'm most interested in trying. Let's save that for a bit. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and pour the batch 27 bourbon so this is not the latest the 28 is the latest but this is batch 27 so i do have some info on that 
um, party too hard last night. No, we, we were out today. We went to, um, actually party too hard this morning. We went to go get brunch in Pasadena. So had to have bottomless mimosas. So I've been drinking mimosas all morning. I'm like, you know, I need a nap. So that's what I've been doing the past few hours or a few hours. Well, <laughs> it was only a 30 minute nap, but man, I could have used a couple hours of nap. What's up? Oh, Roy is drinking some ECBP A121. Well, that's that's awesome. I know it's it's been popping up a bit more than I've seen the other batches. Thank God. It's taken a while, but it's finally popping up. Who knows when we'll see the B batch? Does anyone know anything about that? Um, Brandon says no barrel, but unfortunately, but he is drinking the 1792 12 year and John J Bowman single barrel. That's awesome. I'm excited to try those. I know you said you're gonna bring them when we meet up next week, so that's gonna be fun. Uh, oh yeah, bottomless mimosas. I haven't done it since friends' wedding. Oh, they're so. I mean. You can mimosas are easy to make at home. We always have cheap champagne and orange juice for mimosas, but but it's always nice when you're out, you know, drinking and chatting, especially in the nice weather. It's been absolutely beautiful here in Southern California. So okay, well we'll get into the Donkey Kong in just a bit, but I do want to have some bourbon in my glass before we get too 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 hard. You know this always helps. <laughs> awesome, thank you, Donnie, for clarifying that. Yes. Every super chat um, gets you an entry into the giveaway, so don't worry about the amount. I mean, if you want to give more, it definitely does help support the channel as always. But um, yeah, it just any, I thought it'd be make it easy, especially for people that you know don't want to give, don't want to try to you know pump their way up based on the numbers of the, of the amount of super chat. That sometimes works for samples. It makes sense for samples, but it's a challenge coin. It just honestly, it's just all the support really does mean a lot for me here. So all right, so I got the barrel batch twenty seven poured. So I have some info here about the batch twenty seven. This is a. It starts with a six year old fruit forward, fruit forward barrels from Tennessee, and five year old spice forward barrels from Indiana. After these were blended together, thirteen and fifteen year old barrels with more wood tannins and depth were layered in, and select nine year old barrels with a higher rye content were blended in for spice and assertiveness. Finally, five and eight year old weeded bourbon barrels were added to soften the batch, brighten the front palate, and solidify a cohesiveness to an otherwise extremely complex flavor. Wow, that's like the most blending I think I've seen from these batches. So it's got a five-year-old, a six-year-old, an eight-year-old, a nine-year-old, a 13-year-old, and a 15-year-old. It's a blend of Kentucky, Tennessee, and Indiana, and apparently some wheat, some weeded bourbons too. So that's pretty interesting. I'm excited to see what how that affects the flavor. Um, I do have, the, like I said, I have the batch 26 here. I've reviewed that previously, so um, definitely check out that stream. Ooh, that's spicy. I mean, for it to have a lot of weeded bourbon, we don't know the amounts of any, everything, but it's very spicy on the nose. Lots of, I mean, they said there's a 13 to 15 year old Kentucky bourbon in there. I think they said Kentucky bourbon. Oh, they didn't say, but yeah, it's, it's got that, it's got that oak, that oak spice. Man, that's. I'm gonna let it open up a bit in the glass. Let's go ahead. And, let's go ahead and jump into some Donkey Kong because I need to <laughs> wet my whistle. Well, first I need to wet my whistle with some bourbon, but also I gotta I gotta make sure I'm up to snuff with this game. So I made sure to pull up where we left off. So let me let me make sure this works properly when I switch over. Um, if the game volume is too loud or too quiet, please let me know. I can turn it up and down. Um, I did do a test, so it should be about right. But if it's too loud, please let me know. All right, so let's go. Let's see if this works. There we go. So, all right, so let me know if that game is too loud or too quiet. Um, basically, we left off at this bonus round. So, um, Wheel says 27 is younger than the batch 28. Oh, interesting. I'm excited to um, get to do a little side by side here in a bit. Mike Myers says he has the batch 27. Pretty good. First barrel bourbon. I'm excited to get into it. I know I'm, I'm very limited with my experience with barrel bourbon. Um, I honestly just from that tasting that I did last time was the only time I've had it. I had a, a sample once before of I think their, I think it was the um, Dovetail. All right, volume's a little too loud. Thank you, Brandon. Appreciate that. Let me, let me see if that's see if that's a little better. Maybe that's a little better. If it's still too loud, please let me know. I need to turn the air on because I'm I'm hot and it's not just the heat from the Swankies. I don't know the name of this world, but <laughs> all right. Yeah, this is Donkey Kong Country 2. Yes. Thank you, Donnie. So, all right, got the AC on. We're feeling it. All right, cool. Thank you, guys. So now this bonus round, I'm, I'm actually there's like multiple. It's like a bonus within a bonus. Let's let's see what happens. So I think we use our coins. We have 11 coins, um, 11 coins, and I think we can play. Like one of them takes one coin, two coins, and three. Let's start with the three coin. Let's do the gorilla game. What is that? 
Oop. Well, I just wasted my coins. I don't know what I just did. Aw. Shoot. Well, let me do the other one. What colors were the crocodile head you jumped in the first level? First level? Oh, they were, um... You jumped. They're either green... Green and brown. Yeah. Well, dang, I hate that I ruined that, I ruined that other one. <laughs> oh, I see the confusion. Yeah, original Donkey Kong. Extra live balloons colored red worth. Uh... Five lives? Oh, man. I need to get better with my trivia. All right, let's, let's try that one again. All right, crocodiles were definitely green and brown. I guess two lives. Oh, is it really just only worth one life? Damn, I'm doing really bad. <laughs> All right, green and brown. One life. I guess I was thinking like there were two different kinds. There was like the green ones and the red ones. But I guess the red ones are the, the same ones. How many levels were there on the first area of the island? Oh, damn, I don't know. Five? Oh, okay. Oh, I got an extra life. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> All right. Well, there's, that's off to... That, that, I did really bad on that, honestly. We got to come back when we got more coins. Let's try this one. It's only one coin. Name of the first lava level on this area of the island. Uh, that sounds... Oh, man. All right. Let's try again. All right. Name of this area of the island. Oh, I don't actually know. I mean, you guys probably don't know either. Uh, one more question. How many times did you have to hit the end of the area giant bird to kill him? Two, three, four. I think six. Ah, oh, it had to be ten. Damn it, we're out of coins. All right, we had to come try this again later, because... <laughs> All right, so... Okay, okay, how do I get out of here? Oh, there we go. All right, so let's, let's, see, let's see if we can get into a level and see how it goes. Oh, it was Hothead Top. Dang it. Alright. Clubba's Kiosk. What is this? A bridge. Oh. I don't have enough coins. Dang. Oh, I can fight him. Um. Yeah, I think maybe this is for later in the game. They do have weird trivia. I know. If it's not Colonel Sanders, it's, it's, it's <laughs> Donkey Kong. Alright, let's see. Can we go to this next? Oh, wait. What? Ah, there we go. I was like, how do we get there? Thank you, Donnie. Yes, please hit that thumbs up button. Alright, well, we're good to go. So, oh, man, I wonder if there's like an equivalent, like a minecart kind of level in this game. Because that was always the toughest level. Alright, there's grappling hooks here. Ooh, wait, what was... I feel like there was something this way. No, there's not. It's just... Hmm, Okay. Now, I know I can swing on these grappling hooks, I think. Her hair, see her hair? That makes you think she can swing, but she doesn't seem to be going left or right. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm. Maybe that's just to teach me the mechanic right there. Um, so, a question. Mike Meyer says, Are you familiar with the RG351P handheld? It plays all the classic games from the PS1. Oh, is it like one of those like handheld emulators? Yeah, I, I don't know that specific model, but I, I have I've seen some of them. I know, it's, it's kind of basically the same thing as what I'm doing now, is I'm running an emulator on my computer. It's definitely, I mean, that's awesome. I, I love playing classic games and like, I mean, I know Nintendo's actually pretty good about it. Nintendo actually, you can play them on the Switch, which is awesome. Oh, crap. Ah, what the hell? I'm just like skipping everything. <laughs> well, that was not a good, that was not off to a good start there. Let me save my progress so far, so in case, in case we die again, let's see. What's up, Emily? Good to see you. Uh, mobile. <laughs> we, we hate, the mobile is so difficult. Oh man, I, I shouldn't read this. I was reading the chat. I was like, dang it, I just lost. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that save point I just, I just did. Because that was, that was my fault. I just like, was not paying attention. All right. Let's, let's go ahead. Let's try that. Take two. <laughs> All right. So these guys, they look big and tough, but they really seem pretty easy. Like, they all just like die with one, one hit. Ah, I can't, I'm supposed to land on them just right, and I struggle with it. All right. And I don't know if I can land on their barrels or not. See, they're so easy. How do I get that out? Ah. 
Hmm. I wonder if I can shoot up and then jump that way. Ah, but no, it's not. It's not possible to. Hmm. Oh no, no. Oh my god, that would have been bad. How do I get that? Huh. Oh yeah. What do you guys think? How do you get that? Maybe I think just keep going up and then fall down. Maybe. Ah, that doesn't seem right either. Ah, the freaking bees. Oh wait, I bet I can get it by doing this. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> it's just gonna let me make it do it automatically. Oh well. All right. Let's see. Let's see if we can make it without Diddy. Oh fuck. <laughs> that would that could have went really bad. All right. These guys like walk so like weirdly. It's hard to estimate when they're gonna. Oh wait, is this what this way? Ah, just that. Eh, I don't really worry about collecting all the Kongs, the Kong icons. I know that completionists would kill me, but I just. <laughs> Okay, there he is, there he is. I can kill the bee with that. Alright, cool. Two and one, that's great. Save point there. I hate these bees, man. Oh. Oh, they're tough. Ugh. I don't know if it's automatically, like, that might have been easier than I thought. It just seems scary. <laughs> oh, well, dang. I'm doing, I'm doing pretty damn good, aren't I? <laughs> I'm doing better than I thought. Oh, wait. How do I get that? Hmm. I'm not gonna worry about it. Oh, this guy's swooping in on me. It's tough. Ooh, how do I get up there? I guess I can just jump. Oh, <laughs> no, you can't just jump. Wow, dang. Crap. Definitely need some bourbon to. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, my God, y'all. I, I think I need a bourbon break if I can't get past this level. <laughs> it's just, it's very, like, you gotta, like, position yourself in just the right position and not fall. And also not get hit by the bees. Alright. I don't know if enemies respawn, so... I don't know how I get over there. Oh, yeah, these guys come back. Oof. Oh, we made it! We made it! We got it! We got it. Alright, alright. Okay. Okay. Doing pretty good. Brandon says, just wait till you start drinking. Oh, I know, I know. Y'all know, I, uh, whiskey obviously helps me get better. <laughs> no, I... Alright, alright, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, shit! No! Oh, I just, like, sacrificed myself. Ah, shoot! Damn it. Alright. <laughs> Try this one more time. Oh, I almost died there. Am I going backwards? I feel like I'm going backwards. I feel like I'm going backwards. Oh, what? I got the bonus round, apparently. I, that was not planned. Okay, then. Find the token. Oh, we only have 25 seconds. It's like freaking... Um, what is the game? There's like an arcade game where you like are climbing up. You guys know what I'm talking about? Doodle, is it Doodle Jump? That reminds me of Doodle Jump right there. Okay, well, I don't know what that was for. <laughs> I got another token. Oh, these guys. I should have jumped on their head to get Diddy out. Damn it. Oh, well. Oh, wait, I can do that. Here we go. Okay, there we go. All right. All right. I, I don't trust myself. I'm going to save. I know this is so cheating. This is so cheating. But it's more for the stream because I don't want to like keep doing the same level over and over and over again. Shoot, almost missed that. Okay. Here we go. Take take three. Oh shit. Fuck. Oh no. <laughs> uh Vultures and Robin Hood. Oof. This is tough. Maybe I was going the right way. I don't know why I thought I was Ah oh, shit! Fuck! No! No! No. Oh, you know what? This is why I did the save. This is exactly why I did the save. Because look, there we go. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, that, none of that just happened. Oh, I paused it. Alright, let's... Alright, let's see. <laughs> Man, I want to drink some bourbon. If I, if, I, if I had to do that again, I'm taking a bourbon break. I, I, I hate that I fell the exact same way twice. It's frustrating. Okay. 
Oh, okay. That, well, that, that was the, that was pretty bad. <laughs> uh, where am I supposed to go? Uh, there's a. What is that? I don't want to. I don't trust myself to jump over there. Ah, uh, this guy's gonna keep respawning. All right. Let's just let's just keep going the way I'm supposed to go. Ah, uh, these bees. Ah. Uh! Okay. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought. All right. <sighs> okay, I think that's better than we've done so far. Oh my god, no! Okay, bourbon break. Bourbon break. Let me, let me reload that point. I need a bourbon. Alright. Bourbon break. Let's get into this bourbon. We maybe we need extra energy, courage, whatever to get through this. So <laughs> let's let's go into this. this. Is the batch twenty seven barrel? So definitely has opened up a bit here. Oh wow, that smells so much better than it originally smelled. Still a lot of that wood spice is the first thing that jumps out of the glass to me. It smells pretty old. So let's go ahead and give it a taste. We've already nosed it, so let's go ahead and taste it. Cheers, guys. Whew. Wow, what is the proof on that one? Ooh. Nutty. Spicy and nutty. I am getting a little bit of the wheat flavor the wheat flavor from it. It kind of does remind me of like a larceny barrel proof kind of. It's got that like the sweet bready note. This is 115.7 proof. Has anyone has any I know someone said they had the batch 27 earlier. Have any of you other guys had this one yet? I'm curious to hear what you guys think of this one. That's it, it opens up your sinuses. I felt my sinuses just instantly open up with that first sip. Gotta have another sip of that one though. That was good. I was you know, you guys know I get a little nervous whenever there's Tennessee whiskey and something. Because sometimes that can be an overwhelming dominant flavor. Thankfully, first sip this definitely wasn't for me. So the the interesting thing is they call this a cherry bomb. Or um yeah, a cherry bomb. And I guess I can kind of see where they're coming from with that. But to me, it's way more spicy. Like I get like a spice cake kind of note. There's a, there's some fruitiness there and I think I see where they're getting the cherry. I just remember cuz y'all if y'all watched my stream on Thursday when I had um wait, what did I have? What did I drink on Thursday? Oh, it was when I had, um, oh, Glendronic. Wow. I was like, I was like, I, <laughs> I was kept thinking back to Alex Castle at, um, old Dominic, but that was t two weeks ago. Last week I had Glendronic. One of those was cherry, like so much. I, the moment she said cherry, I was like, heck yes, that is cherry. This sort of, I can sort of see it. It's not qu quite as dominant to me. Um, Brandon asked what kind of nutty. Great question. I know nutty is such a generic thing. I don't know. Let me let me go back into that. First of all, we got our first super chat tonight, and our first and only entry to the giveaway. So unless someone else enters, Eric is getting a challenge coin, um, which Eric always appreciate the support. So it is kind of like, in terms of nuttiness, I would say it's more of a beam nuttiness. It kind of, it reminds me of like a. I, I know Tennessee doesn't always mean dickle. But it kind of reminds me of that the Dickel Bottle and Bond from last year that I really liked. There's like a certain like nuttiness, like a nut skin. <laughs> nut skin, that sounds awful. But like the skin that's on the outside of a peanut, sh like not the shell, obviously. But the like, I don't know, there's like a certain taste that I always associate with nut skin. And I'm going to get banned from YouTube for saying nut skin more than three times. So we're moving on from that. Yeah, I'm still trying to find the, the cherry they're mentioning. Maybe like a cherry cola kind of note, like, but I'm getting still like cola. You, okay, okay, question for y'all, because some of y'all are like, some of y'all are Southerners and some of y'all aren't. Have y'all seen the thing where like people apparently put like peanuts in Coca-Cola and then they, they like drink it and like eat it? That wasn't a thing in y'all's area, was it? I was from South Carolina. We were pretty, pretty bum fuck South Carolina, um, but... I never saw anyone doing that, but I've heard it's a southern thing to put peanuts down in your Coca-Cola. So let me know in the chat. 
are y'all as weirded out by that as me or like like oh no that's what everybody did because i could i could be wrong but um yeah <laughs> what's up carolina whiskey girl we're talking about the south anyways carolina whiskey girl do you do you put peanuts in your coke or is that just like a myth that people say happened in the south because i never once saw that um donnie says peanuts and coke was totally a thing in mississippi and tennessee cheers bourbon baton good to see you we've talked a little bit on instagram earlier today so good to see you. i missed your stream that you had perry on i need to rewatch that because that was on friday um missed that one but i gotta i gotta catch that one all right well donnie says it was a thing so carolina whiskey girl says she's from north carolina and i've never heard of that but boil peanuts all day long oh don't get me started i told y'all when i went back home to south carolina um a couple weeks ago with my mom the one of the first things we did was stop and get boiled peanuts <laughs> i'm freaking love those they're so good uh yeah so I'm, i do like that i do want to go ahead and pour the 28 so it can be opening up a bit in the glass so we can do a little side by side let's see if we can beat this level in, in donkey kong first though but i do want to go ahead and get it poured just in case i should always forget to take off this tape the um electric tape from around the top of it before i get started oh man uh y'all don't make me nostalgic i just came back from south carolina like three weeks ago don't make me want to go back again although i am going back to charleston in may fingers crossed so all right let me go ahead and pour the 28 and i'll, I'll get into the notes in that just a bit i just want to let it open up a bit so it has a fair chance against the 27 i like i and i said this during my last stream that i had their national director on I was always so confused by Barrel. I avoided their products for the longest time because I'm like, I'm reading, I'm looking at the bottle itself and all this says is like, batch 28, 108.86 proof. I knew nothing. Little did I know, all I had to do was go to the website and they have all of the info right there in front of you on the website. So that is a good thing. I just was super intimidated by them. And I don't know, if does anyone else feel the same way about Barrel? I, I mentioned it a little bit, but I had their national director on, so I didn't want to go too much into it. But I always avoided barrel just all of their products i'm like this is so confusing i don't know like what batch is what but now that i know that it's all right there front and center on their website i'm actually very very happy to start exploring the different batches so all right we got the 27 poured or 27 i was drinking earlier we got the 28 poured let's go ahead and see if we can beat this freaking level though shall we let's get back into the game let's see how it goes all right let's see let's see how we do Where is Cause we can surely, I mean, we got, we got the power, we got the power of the shirt here. Alright, ugh. I feel like we're not that far from the end of this level. I feel like we're getting really close. You can always tell based on, like, which letters are available, like, when it spells out Kong. Oh, man, I almost messed that up every single time. See how we do. Ugh. Oh, barrel. Okay. I think I'm going the right way here. Maybe not. Nope. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is a struggle. This is really a struggle. Because if you push too far, you're going to fall. Ah, that was damn. That was my bad. Take 47. <laughs> Maybe I should like save at some point up here. Like once I get past this stuff, or like once I get past that like big thing that I always fall at, I should save again. I think I'll do that. I'll save when I get. I'll save when I get here and I kill this guy. I don't. I wonder what that Kong thing is over there. That Diddy Kong thing. I need to remember the shortcut for saving, honestly. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick. What is the shortcut for saving? Ah, oh, that doesn't show it. Hmm. This doesn't show me, like, keyboard shortcuts. That's the only thing I wish I knew. Uh, ah, oh well. That's fine. I'll do it manually. <laughs> Y'all are still talking about the South. Oh, man. I'm, I do miss the South, but I do love Los Angeles. Don't get me wrong. It's a great city to live in. I was so glad to be able to go explore my city a bit more like today like we, i told you we went to we went out to eat for brunch in pasadena i seriously y'all i moved to a new apartment in july of last year 
I have not once ex oh it's the end of the level right here oh shit <laughs> almost messed up all right so I guess I could have got one of those things oh well all right well we beat the level holy crap that's awesome so let me let me save real quick so no but what the point of saying is like we moved to Glendale it's like a it's a city it's in Los Angeles County but it's a city in itself and we it was during the pandemic so like everything was shut down we haven't explored local restaurants we haven't explored local bars so i'm really hoping that now that things are opening back up indoor dining is a thing again bars are still closed unless they do outdoors i'm really excited to explore my city because i feel like how how can you live a place a year and not ever know the local bars and restaurants so fingers crossed things keep getting better and i can start to explore my city a bit more all right so we beat that level let's see let's see if we can beat another level and then we'll dig into the bourbon oh wait i got the wrong way what's this Is it a bonus round, maybe? What is this? Oh, no, this is the same level we just did, isn't it? Are we really just doing the same level again? Wow. Okay, how do I... Is there no way to go back? Just other than to die? Let me just load for my save point, because I, I messed that up. There we go. Okay, wait. So that was the same level. Oh! Duh. It turns into the face of the person that beat it. So uh, since I was Dixie... Um, it's her face there, I think. So I was confused. Okay, okay, here we go. Lava Lagoon. <laughs> Just make sure I'm not reading anything with the chat. I'm missing anything with the chat. Y'all talking about Waffle House. Y'all keep at it. <laughs> I, dude, let me some Waffle House. Drunken Waffle House. Oh, this looks difficult. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, I was like, what was that sound? It's a seal? Oh! Wait, what? Wait! Oh, he turns it. <gasps> You turn it into water. What? Okay. I don't know how long it stays water. Probably not long at all. Um, I probably should hurry up before I figure it out. Oh, uh, back, back lava again. Oh, I did it too early. I was like, oh no. Okay, I don't know how long I have down here. Before it changes back. Oof. You know what? It could not, it may not even be time based. It may just be like once I get to a certain point. Alright. Let's see where we can go. There's the K. I only get these when they're easy and convenient to get. I don't think there's a time, honestly. I think it's just like... Aw, oh, damn. I think it's literally just like... Oh, no shit! Fuck! Oh, fuck! No! <laughs> uh, Alright. Well, there obviously is a timer for how long. That's good to know. Oh, folks. Never heard of that one. Oh, sh... Damn it! <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, at least I know there's a way to die. Alright. So I don't care about the freaking bananas. I'll forget the Kong. I know I missed it this time, but it's okay. How do I get that? How do I get, like, jump past the seal? Oh, there we go. There's, oh, there was the cave. Alright, alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Screw the bananas, you don't care about the bananas, it really doesn't matter. Ah, damn it. No, I'm not gonna lose them both. Alright, oh shit, that was scary. Oh my god, it's coming fast, holy crap. Holy crap, wait, it's gonna shoot me down, I don't wanna get shot down. Wait. Why is it gonna shoot me down? There has to be a reason for this here, let's try it. Oh no, what? What the hell, that was stupid. There's no reason for that. Alright, let's try again. So what is this? Oh, and... Oh, shit, it's like a, like a superstar. How long does it last, though? Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck! Fuck! Oof. Oof, that was close. I don't know if you can just like, you can like, touch the water for a little bit? I don't know. I don't want to risk it. Oh shit. Look at these puffer fish. That's- Oh shit. That was scary. Wait, but like, how do I go up? That was an arrow, right? How do I go- Hmm, where was that arrow pointing? Interesting. Oh wait, there- Oh, there he goes. Well, let me go- Let me go the way it's telling me to go. Oh, 
Oh wait, 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 I get the whole Kong. If I don't die. Shit, 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 don't eat me. No shark. Well, I guess I missed my shark. Or my swordfish. Ugh, I don't like these bugs. I'm just, gonna, I'm just I don't know if I'm going backwards or what. I'm just going with the flow. These pufferfish are scaring me, though. Oh, there's a lot of them. This is more than I've seen. Right. Sorry, I'm like, I'm focused this game is just like time based. Like, see, look, that was close. Oh, shit. Alright, <laughs> that, was, that was easy, Dad. Moon pies and sun drop. I feel like I need to like do that and like hit that. I definitely I'm not doing the ending right. I think I'm supposed to be doing something different. All right, let's let's take a let's take a bourbon break. And let's go into Barrel Bats 28. I think I pretty did pretty well in that level. You you guys give me a round of applause. Come on now. I need my sound effects. I don't have my sound effects today. All right, let's let's get back to the bourbon and then we're gonna see if we can beat this boss. We're gonna we're gonna do the bourbon, do a little side by side here. And then we're gonna try to get to the boss level and then we're gonna try. The, the showstopper of the night, the barrel seagrass. Have any of y'all seen this and have y'all tried seagrass? Because this is very polarizing. I know some people absolutely hate it. Some people said like they wish they had more of it. So curious if you guys have seen this. Like I said, I'm, I'm a little, I'm very intrigued by the, there's rum cask and there's Madeira cask, which, you know, it's not that weird, but then apricot brandy cask. I don't know. That's a little, um, Donnie says was it the 21 or the 23 that was all the rage. I actually don't know. Um, I, like I said, I didn't get into barrel till, till recently. So Let's, let's look at the info on batch 28, though. This one is a blend of 10 and 11-year-old barrels, creating a marriage of three distinct subgroups of barrels. The first aroma was notes of tropical fruit, citrus zest, and exotic spices. How appropriate for Donkey Kong. Seems like a very on-point, on on-theme whiskey to drink with it. Um, ident identifying the nose of the final blend. The second group had a richness in the middle palate and a sweet, almond-like body. The third group was peppery and tannic, adding backbone and as a savory, woodsy, and earthy component. The final blend of Batch 28 allows each of these groups to shine through. It presents a bouquet of ripe, tropical, and sweet flower aroma, backed up by robust punch of rustic wood in the cadence and finish. That's a lot of fancy words. However, 10 and 11 year old barrels, that's very different. It's a very, very limited range there. The other one's like, what, like 5, 8, 12, 14, 16? It's a lot of that. This one's only 10 and 11 years old. It is still a blend of Tennessee, Kentucky, and Indiana. So um, there's that. Um, Nick, that is a great question. How much is barrel bourbon? Let me just look at it. And they, they're about the same each batch. Um, let me just see how much it costs. That's a good question because I don't actually know how much it costs in my area. Let me see. I think it's batch 28 is $92 at total wine. Um, batch 24 is $84. So it sounds like they're about ninety to hundred dollars, most likely. Um, I don't know about you guys. What, what about in your areas? How much is it for you guys? This sounds like doing too much. I do think it's, it's very, very wordy. I don't know if I fully, you know. We'll see. We'll see. It may. It may not be just hyped up. It may have all of those notes. All right. Just as a quick refresher, I'm gonna try the twenty-seven just real quick, just to remind myself. So now it says 27, 28, or about 97 here. Well, I'm very curious to see how 28 is because 27 is super rich and like a lot of wood influence there, even though it is a blend of younger stuff. So let's see if the 10 and 11 year old, let's see if it's even more wood impact, which y'all know I like the oaky oak bombs. Shout out to all the Knob Creek fans. I'm honestly just talking to you, Adriana. <laughs> I know, I know y'all other guys, the rest of y'all like Knob Creek too, but her and I are a bit of fangirls over it. Okay, the nose is a bit different. This one, I, they said tropical fruit. That's what I'm getting on this on the nose. Not nearly as much of the oak. Almost a banana, but not, y'all know how I am about banana. I don't like a fake candy sweetness kind of banana. No, this one's more of like a banana, not pie, maybe like a plantain even. There's like there's like a cooked aspect to it. So maybe like a, not a banana nut bread. I don't know. It's hard to pull out the nose. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Cheers, guys. Mm. Okay. Very, very different. 
that is giving me old Forrester Brown Foreman vibes. Not so much the banana, thankfully, because the banana sometimes is off-putting to me. That is, I think this is Tennessee forward. I think it's got a little bit of that minerality, not quite full-on Flintstones vitamin, thank God. There is a bit of minerality there with that one. I don't, I don't know how to explain it other than, like, people say Flintstones vitamins, like the, the old candy vitamins, but a little bit. Let me, let me go for a second sit. There's a little bit of that there. This one tastes the most dickle light. It's not bad. It's just not quite my up my alley. And that's what, again, like I said, I'm always intimidated by barrel products because they're so different. Batch 27, batch 28, you think any other company that's just like, oh, you know, the next year's batch is like the same thing, maybe a little bit older or whatever. No, they go and change everything up every batch. So you have to make sure you know what you're getting into. Although this doesn't tell you, it doesn't tell you that it's going to be that dominant with the, the Tennessee note. If that note doesn't bother you, you'll, I mean, you'll love this. I, I don't think it's bad at all. I just, if I had to pick between the two, I already kind of know which one's going to be my favorite. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll do a little side by side. Let me go for, for a third sip of this one. Up front, it's really nice. There's that like tropical sweetness, but then the end of it goes. It's nutty, but in a different way. I know. Maybe I should just stop calling. Let's just say every whiskey is nutty. <laughs> it is. Um, it's like a, this one is like a dry, like a maybe. What did they say? Did they say almond? Because almond is what comes to mind for me. Sorry about all the noise outside. Is uh, no, it does say almond. Like okay, there is like an. I was gonna say either almond or walnut, but there's like some kind of different kind of nuttiness on the on this one. Let me let me go back to let me go back to the twenty seven. Let's do a little side by side. Night and day different. These are very very different batches. Twenty seven. No specific region is jumping out of the glass from being in that region. You can't really place Tennessee, Kentucky, Indiana. I mean, honestly, I think this one is the twenty seven is way more balanced. I think when you're when you're taking those three regions. 28 definitely leans into the Tennessee aspect of things. Nutshell inside of a nut skin. Ha ha. Yeah. It's good. I wouldn't buy it because I don't I don't particularly like that that minerality that comes with some Tennessee whiskey. But it's I mean it's a solid product. It's 108.86 proof. But if I know I'm paying ninety to one hundred dollars for it, I'd go with batch twenty seven. But that's my thoughts on those two. But we still got to do the barrel seagrass. But first, let's see if we can get to a boss level because I'm really excited to get to a boss level. Let's see where we can get in this game. Then we're gonna reveal my thoughts on barrel seagrass. By the way, if you're joining a bit late, I am doing a giveaway tonight of a Bourbon Bites Challenge coin, which have my logo on the front metal very solid very heavy no match value on the back to get entered into this all you got to do is send a super chat tonight of any amount it could be a dollar it could be five dollars it could be a five hundred dollars you know if you really really love me but so far there's only one person entered the giveaway so unless someone else enters in the next 10 minutes eric black is getting this coin so you all gotta throw your name in the hat just even if you already have one trust me they're great for a flight i have four of them that i just did for a flight so it's worth a shot. A dollar. It could be a dollar yours for one dollar. Just saying. <laughs> uh, of course, again, shout out to Donnie and Brandon who are keeping track of that. Uh, what's up, Scary Peeper? He says, just got here. Um, Want to learn more about this intriguing bourbon. I'm scared, of to, I'm scared to buy because of the high prices. That's kind of what I was saying. I avoided it for the longest time. Well, just recap, um, Scary Peeper, I haven't gotten to seagrass yet, but the Barrel Bourbon Batch 2728. If you like Dickel, if you like Dickel bourbon, like that kind of nutty minerality kind of note, Flintstones vitamin, some people say. Get the 28. If you don't like that, get the 27. 27, I think I would pay 90 to to $100 for batch 27. All right, let's see. Let's see where we can take it. Okay, this seems like to be a red hot ride. This isn't the boss, but let's see. Let's see how it goes. By the way, I, I said this the first time I streamed this game. I never played this game growing up. I played the first, the original Donkey Kong Country. So this, this is definitely a first time playthrough for me. 
What is this? Oh, I can jump on it? Okay. Does it fall? Okay. It just floats. Alright. What's up, Nick? Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm so scared to just say leave with faith here. Excuse me? What the hell was I supposed to do? I'm supposed to go backwards? <laughs> what? What the hell? Am I supposed to like throw her? Any ideas, guys? I don't want to just keep dying. I feel like I'm like that meme. That girl that's just like... What on earth? What am I supposed to do? I am like... Am I supposed to do something with this guy? Like, am I supposed to use him for something? Can I double jump? No, not not in this game, as far as I know. Yeah, you can't double jump. It's just like, it's like a one jump kind of thing. I mean, I can like, let me, let me I can pick her up, and I can throw her, but that doesn't, that doesn't like, doesn't do anything. Yeah, I think I can throw her, but like, what is the point of doing that? What on earth? Okay, um... Well, we might not make it to the boss, because I may not know what to do. Can I like, ground pound it or something? Oh! Maybe I was just see like a running start, and like... No! That doesn't even work! That doesn't work! I know, I'm, I know I'm like bad at games, but like, surely like this makes no sense to you guys either, right? There's this guy, who I knock off and I kill. And I cannot control this balloon, just in case y'all are curious. I'm about to have to pull up a walkthrough. Hey, who wants to Google the name of this level? <laughs> Let's see what the name of this level is. Who wants to Google the name of this level and see like, how the hell? Alright, it's called... Red Hot Ride. If anyone wants to Google, let me let me look up real quick because I'm like I'm like I'm very. Ride Donkey Kong Country Two. How the hell do you play that? Red Hot Ride. Two minute thirty six seconds. Here, let's. See. I'm watching a video of someone play it. So one second. Okay. They. Oh my God! You're. So... How am I supposed to know that? Okay, I figured out how to do it. Wow, okay. So here's how you do it. You, you guys want to see this? Oh, second super chat of the night. Sugar Kitty, thanks. Says his $5 to so your floor doesn't turn to lava. Appreciate that, Sugar Kitty. You are entered into tonight's giveaway to get a Super Vice Challenge going. So now it's okay. Now, Eric Black, you got some competition now. <laughs> it's two of you guys. All right, so now here's, what, here's how you got to do this thing. It's so stupid. Oh, we can't get back up anyways. Look, watch. Here's how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to hair spin with her. Isn't this crazy? Like, it should have told you that. Like, what if you didn't have her? Oh my god. Y'all didn't see that. Y'all didn't see that. Look, here's what you're supposed to do. Let me let me show y'all for real. You're st supposed to not know how to play. Exactly. Exactly right, Adriana. Okay. That guy's... There's no point of that guy even being there. But, but look what you're supposed to do. That is what you're supposed to do. I, I mean, I guess I should have known that like that was her special ability, but like, damn, I did not even think about that. Oh wait, you can't. Oh, I forgot you can't jump on his head. Damn. All right, we need her again. <laughs> All right, I guess we gotta do that same thing again with her. I mean, throw. I can't swap places with her right now because we're not in a good spot. I can go back over here. Ah, oh, shit! No, no. Ah. All right, let's 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 try. I'm just gonna keep learning because I don't want to lose all my lives because like I'm stupid. <laughs> all right, let's let's see what we can get. Now y'all saw what you're supposed to do, so let's see where we can make it.
Well, you can't have him. Because I would have liked to throw him at that. Oh, there's a rhino. That'd be nice. Oof. Do I trust? It'd be nice to have that rhino. Ah, uh, now he's angry. Oh no! Ah, man, he knocked us off. Ah. Alright, let's try again. Y'all, I never claim to be good at these games. <laughs> I claim to enjoy playing them. And hopefully you enjoy watching me play them. I know y'all don't enjoy me doing the same thing over and over. That's the only bad thing about, like, streaming these live. Because, like, ah, oh, shit! Fuck! No! Ah! We're about to just... Okay. I'll give it two more minutes. Two more minutes and then we're going to do the barrel seagrass. I have not tried Armida, David. Um, I hear a lot about it. I have only tried the, the dovetail and then the bourbon and the rye. So I have not tried the Armida. How is it? Have you tried it? Let me know. I know someone was talking about it earlier in the chat. So it seems like the best thing to do about these guys is just ignore them. It seems to be a lot easier that way. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about the rhino, I'm just going to go for it. See, if I jump on this guy's head... Oh, I can't win anyways. Right. I think I can knock... I can, like, use him as a barrel if I knock his head. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to do here? Oh, you're supposed to ride the air vents, aren't you? You're supposed to ride these air vents. I'm so stupid. Again! I need instructions. I need it to tell me. You can ride these air vents. Because look, now I don't have my girl, but look. I bet I can... What would I even do at this point without her? Alright, one more, one more try, and then we're going to the, the, the barrel. Shit. That was my bad. Alright. <laughs> last try, last try. See how far we get. I don't know what you're supposed to do if you don't have your girl. You can't do it. There has to be something about riding the, um... Ah, shit! Fuck. You can't... One more try. One more try. For real. For real. For real last time. Y'all, y'all, I'm competitive. I... Mm. But I know I'm keeping this to an hour because I haven't eaten dinner yet. So, like I said, we are going to play some Among Us on our Whiskey and Gaming Lounge. So if anyone's not on that, literally, just you can just go to bourbonbites.com and it'll redirect you to sign up for it. So, everyone's welcome to join us for that game. We're going to do like a hangout, so we're going to do voice chat. Last time. I know, Donnie. I know. <laughs> knock me off so like I assume I'm supposed to like ride these air vents right that's it folks <laughs> that is the end of not the stream don't worry I still gotta do the seagrass but that is what the hell what the hell like <laughs> I'm not even gonna comment <laughs> <sighs> well, there was there was that. That's very frustrating. I'm sorry I didn't get further in the game. I thought I would breeze through these levels. I thought I would just die by, like, being stupid and, like, running into enemies and getting hit and stuff. But no. I died because I don't know how to do play the game. Scary Peeper in with a chance to win the challenge coins. By the way, if anyone wants to get their entry in, it's last chance as I drink this whiskey and review it. He says, Bourbon Bites challenge coin is so nice. I want another. Well, Scary Peeper, you may win it. You there so far there have been only three entries in tonight's giveaway, so you got a one in if someone else enters, you got a one in four chance. So that's pretty good odds too, if you ask me. I'm a betting guy, I go to Vegas a lot. If I had a one in one in four chance of getting a getting a freaking twenty dollar value challenge coin if I just paid a dollar, I'd do it. Alright, so barrel seagrass. So this one is the one that's I'm very, very intrigued. I, I did do a little sample of it before. But I haven't 
really dived into it yet. Let's pour. Let's pour a bit more. Why not? Why not? We got a, we got a what? 100 ml sample bottle here. <laughs> so this one is 118.4 proof. It is distilled in Indiana and Canada. So it is a rye. It's a rye whiskey. So it's a mix of Indiana rye and Canadian rye. Let me pull up the info on it here. So this one. It's an ode to coastal memories, blended to evoke the joy of a day on the beach and an evening listening to the soothing rhythm of waves. Okay, bullshit. Seagrass highlights the grassy oceanside notes we love in a rye. I, mean, I get the grassy. I don't know about the oceanside. I don't think I've ever gotten ocean on a rye. Have you guys? Huh, I've never thought about that. Maybe I have, and I just haven't thought of it that way. A blend of American and Canadian rye. Um, Nick Promo says, make that one in four chance. Nick, thank you so much. Nick is introduced. Get, do I get? I was like, it didn't show up. Now it shows up. Thank you so much, Nick. One in four chance. There you go. One in five chance. Anyone else? <laughs> Thank you guys for giving me some odds. I mean, no offense. I mean, Eric, Eric, I'd love if you have one, but I'm like, come on, guys. Gotta have some competition. You're gonna make it. Gotta make it fun. So, <laughs> all right. So this is, and then it's finished in the Martinique rum, rum casks, apricot brandy casks, and Madeira barrels. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this, David. I agree. Yeah, for Scotch. I get Brian. I get Brian a lot, and I actually really like that note, especially some like Talisker or like Lagavulin. Oh my god, I love that note. Don't think I've ever gotten it on a rye though. Yeah, Old Pulteney, another great one that's got a lot of ocean notes. But yeah, I don't think I've ever gotten it on a rye. Let's see. Let's see though. Hmm. Maybe I'm just being influenced by the name, but like it, it, it is a little seaweedy. It's a little seaweedy on the nose. It's got like a. You know what? It's kind of, this is going to be weird. It's kind of like got an asparagus kind of note on the nose. Like, like cooked asparagus. Just a hint. It's not like it's overwhelming. That would be weird. Like, it, it, I know Adriana's not going to like it. I know she doesn't like her veggies, but. I get Brian or Brian. Brian. Is it, you're mocking my southern accent, are you, Donnie? Yeah, it's it's got a little bit. I, I, I originally said seaweed, but to me it's more asparagus. Maybe it's apricot. Honestly, I can't tell you the last time I ate apricot and also i know apricot brandy is a thing ah oh, man that's a very interesting nose <laughs> john says yikes asparagus I knew, I knew you wouldn't like that one let's see what they said about the nose they said bright and fruity esters perfume like character honeydew melon and plum sit alongside a slice of ripe apricot underlying rye is revealing a sea-like salinity tarragon and elderflower maybe maybe apricots and asparagus have a similar smell no, y'all tell me, because I don't, I don't actually know. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's not all funny. It's actually, it's very nice. It's a nice nose. It's an interesting nose. It's something I can, like, dive into and, like, pull a lot of things out of it. <laughs> Asparagus would kill you. <laughs> okay, well, it's not off-putting. Just let me know that. All right, let's go ahead. Let's go and give it a taste. Cheers, guys. Whoa. That jumps around your mouth. There's like a... Oh, well, there's a weird sweetness. I'm trying to think. It reminds me of something. Like a... Nerd's Rope, maybe? Like that fruity, sweet, sticky... Or even... Ah, oh, it's like... Whoa, that was like, okay. You know, I'm kind of here for that. That was weird and all over the place. But let's see what they say about it. They said it opens on pear... pear uh, le lychee, I think it's pronounced. White grapefruit, classic rice, cinnamon, rosemary, fennel, um, unctuous texture, sandy tannin. Okay, these these. Okay. Whoa, that is weird. I gotta, I'm gonna have to do another sip, and I'm gonna also have to add some water and see if it opens up a bit. It says the finish is fresh and clean. That's whoa. That's so so interesting. Uh, let's, let's see what I can get second taste. I get the pear, maybe the lychee too, but like a candied pear, like, whoa, that's really cool, it's really different, definitely not your typical rye by any means, it's got a sweet, like a candy, you know, at the end of it, it's kind of like, some of, you may have heard this note from other people, it, it's like a, the powder on like a bubble gum, like one of those like candy bubble gum, like bubble tape, 
the white powder on it kind of has a bit of that on the finish really sweet i think the rum the rum is making this really sweet um <laughs> asparagus will make your litter box smell weird yeah okay none of the, none of the asparagus weirdness is on the on the palette let me go out to the nose see if i can still get that definitely more i still get the asparagus on the nose but wow okay i dig that palette that's so interesting you know it reminds me of y'all did y'all see my review of the saint george baller that was like a um it was a single malt american whiskey but it was finished in plum wine casks so it has a little bit of that weirdness definitely not as weird that one's a strange ass whiskey that one's really freaking weird but this has some of that, that weirdness though let me let me give final thoughts on this one let's wait actually let me add a little bit of water and then we'll do our giveaway how about that so oop, last chance to enter it was like one in five chance of getting this coin <laughs> all right let's add a little bit of water well there we go okay tammy tammy wants her coin well tammy's gonna get one because brian's gonna get one anyway so they might have two coins if she wins loving the tasting notes well thank you tammy appreciate that so much yeah, so like I said, I said this on Patreon, but everyone that, that is the $10 tier that renewed this month, you're getting your first coin. I'm going to ship those out next week. So keep an eye out in your mailbox for that one. If I don't have your address, I'll probably send you a message Monday or Tuesday. Um, but yeah, so those they get them. And also, that's another way. If, if you miss out on the giveaway tonight, there's two ways you can get your coins. Well, three ways counting the giveaway. One way is you can become a patron at the $10 level. The $10 level after three months. Thank you, Donnie, for correcting me last time. Three months you get one for free. At the $25 level, two months, you get one for free. And at the $50 level, two months, you get two free. $100 level, you just get two free whenever. It's just, you get it whenever. So there's lots of different ways to get them. Uh, but also, if you just want to buy it straight out, you know, you can just Venmo me $20 at Bourbon Bites. I'll get one sent out to you too. But I thought it would be a fun giveaway too. So you guys can get a chance to win it there. Another super chat just came in, Jared Riley. Jared, what's up? I saw you come in the chat earlier. I apologize I didn't say hi. Um, seagrass sounds super interesting. Yeah, I mean, I, I just, I added a good dash of water, probably about six or seven drops. Gonna see. I think that should be one in seven chance, Donnie. I think, so let me, let me double check. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, it's six. One in six, you're right. I thought, I guess I thought I missed one. Yeah. So, oh, I, I get what I was saying. Like, it would be one in seven if someone else joined. Gotcha, that's what I was saying. All right, so appreciate y'all. Those super chats really do mean a lot. I know it's just like a fun giveaway, but they really do help out the channel here a ton. So appreciate you guys so much. I added a bit of water. Let's see what happens to it. The nose gets sweeter. So it's definitely opened up a bit on the nose. Probably less of the asparagus. It's not as not as weird on the nose. But it wasn't a bad asparagus. It's not like you smell like, oh, you know, asparagus pee or something like that. No, it's very, very nice. Let's go ahead and give it a taste, though, again, with water. The lower proof is easier because as, as y'all know rye drinks hotter so at 118 proof that drank real real hot at first adding some water tames it down maybe it brings out more of the sweetness i think it kind of mutes a little bit of the um the kind of pear if there's still it's still like a pear candy you know the more i eat it it's like a have you guys had some of those like hard candies from like a Japanese like supermarket or whatever? They're like they're like fruit candies. Maybe they're even lychee flavored. There's like a candy, like a gummy, like a candy with like a gummy center. This is like you bust like a fruit gusher, you burst the center of it, and there's like a little burst of fruitiness there. This is nice. I really like this one. Now price on this one. Does anyone know they don't? They don't list the price here. I don't think it's out in my area yet. Let me see. There's a buy now button. Let's see what happens. $80. So it's actually cheaper than the bourbon batch. This, if you want to have an interesting, unique product, you know, y'all know Dovetail. Dovetail is super unique on its, in its own right. But if you want to have another one that people like, like, oh yeah, I've had Dovetail before. Holy crap. This is super interesting and super unique. I recommend this at $80. I think it's, if you got to be a rye person, though. if you don't like rye and you don't like fruity notes, you're not going to like it. But if you like a fruity rye, you got to give this one a try. So with that, our final super chat is coming in here. Timing is still off. I cannot figure it out. Final super chat coming in here. Fred says, "Why not? It's the best challenge coin ever." Well, I guess. I mean, I, I would say so, but that's just I'm a little biased. Appreciate that, Fred. So Fred is entered to the giveaway. So that is all of our entries so 
to the giveaway tonight. So let me get those entered in. I'm going to show you all the wheel. What we're going to spin it. I didn't prepare this part. Should have done a little bit. Hold on. Wheel, spin, wheel of names. There we go. That's the site I use. So let me go ahead and get that pulled up for you guys. Yeah, it is like a high chew kind of. It's um, but it's still more like a um. Pear. Like I don't think they do. They have like a lychee flavor of that one. Like a pear or like a lychee. Let me try to find the best. Way. I usually use like do like a green screen on this one. I'm not gonna worry about that because that's this is just <laughs> a random giveaway. So let me let me make my backdrop a little more less vibrant of a color. There we go. All right. So let me get everyone's names put in here for the giveaway. Um, thank you again to Brandon and Donnie for keeping track of that. So let's go ahead and put these in, and I'll show you guys the wheel here again. Cool, cool. Let me shuffle it up a couple times. Oh, they do. They do. Okay, cool. Yeah, that you know what? That's a great comparison. I haven't had one in forever, so uh, let me just want to make sure. Window capture. Uh... One second. I'm just gonna. Oh, that's not. What, <laughs> that's not what I want to share. Here we go. Wheel of names. There we go. Okay. So we'll put it up here. So everyone that is sending a super chat. Let me not block my face. Ah, come on. <laughs> okay, we're gonna make it a little smaller. But y'all, y'all, y'all know y'all's names. Let me. I don't want to block my face. All right. Eh, it's not perfect. It's not pretty. But y'all, y'all can see that, right? <laughs> y'all can see y'all's names. All right. So. This is for a giveaway of a Bourbon Vice Challenge coin. These these are available for purchase separately, but I want to give one away tonight because honestly, I had a hundred of them and I've I, I've sold about half. So you know, <laughs> so it's good it's good to give them away too. So I think this would be funny. Maybe more of these Saturday streams I give these away more often. So all right, let's go. Y'all ready to spin the wheel? They ready to do this? Best of luck to everyone here tonight that entered. <laughs> all right, cheers guys. Let's go ahead and spin that wheel. See, see who gets tonight's coin. I need some music. I need like Jeopardy music. or Not Jeopardy, but Wheel of Fortune music. And there's our winner, Sugar Kitty. Congratulations. I'm so glad to... I'm so glad. I mean, you, you deserve it anyways. Like, I mean, you all deserve it. But like, Sugar Kitty, you're here week to week. I appreciate you so much. Um, but also, if there are some new faces here, welcome. If you enjoyed tonight's stream, we do gamings on Saturday usually. Usually during the week, we'll do like a more thorough review of the bourbon. But I appreciate y'all tuning in on a Saturday. And, um... Yeah, trying some barrel with me. I'm, I I gotta say, I, I'm almost out of the seagrass, but I think I'm gonna have to pick up a bottle of this one because super, super unique. Um, coming up soon, some future streams so you guys know. Next Thursday, I'm going to do a dickle off. Yes, you heard that right. I'm gonna get banned again. I'm gonna do a dickle off. I'm going to do, I got a bunch of different George Dickel 15 year barrels that came in thanks to our friends Trevelson and Tim. Um, Tim Evans. They sent some samples of some some Dickel 15 year. So we're gonna try them all side by side. Pick my favorite barrel, and then next Saturday I may or may not be live. Still decide. I'm actually going down to meet with some friends. Um, so to be determined next Saturday. Uh, but also some really other cool ones coming up. Patreon, you get first notice of when I'm going live at different times, or like like a preview of when I'm going live. So with that, thank y'all so much. Sugar Kitty, just shoot me a message on wherever you can shoot me a message. Um, if, if you're not on Instagram or you're on the Discord, but you can just send me contact at bourbonbites.com. Just let me know it's you. And yeah, <laughs> sounds like a cliffy Thursday. Well, I hope to see you all there. Like I said, we are going to play some Among Us. I'm going to be in the Tipsy Gaming Lounge. I'm going to be just voice chat because Justin's got to cook dinner and I'm hungry. So we're going to play some Among Us tonight if anyone's down. So see you all there. Uh, but until next time, this has been Bourbon Bites. Whiskey Reviews with a gaming twist. Cheers. And I need to get better at Donkey Kong before I play it again. <laughs> All right. Bye guys. I didn't realize I don't have like an outro. So we're, you guys want a Colonel Stan? No, that's not, that's not an outro. That's boring. Ah, eh, we don't have an outro, but we're just